Hello and welcome back to Investor Info. Most people working 9 to 5 jobs can probably agree that it is not the most liberating form of work. Due to this, many people begin side hustles to add to their income streams. In today's video, we'll be diving into the 7 best side hustles that can make you $100 plus per day. But before we tell you about all the best jobs to do on the side, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon so you'll get notified every time we upload a new video. You are not going to want to miss out. Let's get started. Number 1 First and foremost, the easiest way to make some spare cash is by selling what you already own. To begin with, you would not need to set aside money as capital to begin this enterprise because you may begin with what you currently have at home. Look to your left and to your right. You could find something useful. Fortunately, there are several places where you may sell stuff at a low cost. Websites like eBay and Amazon are ideal for selling items since they have a big audience. Chances are, everything you have sitting in your room right now that is collecting dust may be useful to someone else, so there's no need to let it collect more dust. You can just start today. One disadvantage of this is that the majority of the time, the items we currently possess are used, and customers prefer to acquire goods firsthand rather than secondhand. Whether it's antique furniture or old clothes, make sure you carefully choose items that you know will draw a lot of attention. But one piece of advice is to largely sell brand new products. Number 2 Secondly, join a focus group. What exactly is a focus group, you might be asking? Paid focus groups like polls are a data-driven kind of market research. The primary purpose is to collect views and statistics in order to forecast trends, enhance goods, or develop new ones. Participants participate in small groups of five to eight individuals and provide feedback on the targeted product. Paid focus groups are available both in person, at a given place, and online. Here are some tips on how to choose which focus groups to join. When it comes to disclosing our personal information, we tend to become too cautious, and even possibilities to earn additional money won't always sway us, right? However, when we are discussing professional research businesses that take information security extremely seriously, we may be confident that they will secure both participants and their own reputation. Check out evaluations about the firm you want to deal with, as well as their reputation and image. Survey Junkie is undoubtedly the most popular online platform for earning additional money by conducting online surveys. The one exception is that Survey Junkie does not pay in cash, but rather in points that can be exchanged for gift cards. However, the overall experience is simple and uncomplicated. Survey Junkie is most likely one of the simplest methods to make money with survey firms. On Survey Junkie, you get paid approximately around $2 to $75 for each survey. Another reliable site is Respondent.io, a worldwide marketing research company that makes remote interviews. The average pay is around $140 per hour. Other sites such as User Interviews and FocusGroup.com also pay around $10 to $100 per survey. In addition, you can join Google User Research to share your experience. After completing the survey, you will be given a gift card or the option to donate the money to any charity of your choice. So it's a little complicated, and you won't become rich doing it, but it's a terrific and secure method to find out what an online focus group is. Number 3 Coming up next on our list is flipping items for profit. When looking for methods to make money from home, flipping things from your own home, thrift stores, or discount racks is always at the top of the list. It's something that practically anyone can accomplish without a lot of startup money, especially if you enjoy hunting for bargains. But how exactly can you get started flipping stuff for profit? Well, here are a few simple steps on how to get started. Firstly, declutter your space. Your own house is the best place to find your first items to flip. To begin with, it helps you to arrange your environment. Cluttered living spaces have been demonstrated to raise stress, impair productivity, increase body weight due to stress hormones and other variables, and increase anxiety. Second, it enables you to gain expertise in flipping goods without making any extra investments. 
And when you first start on eBay, you want to get as much feedback as possible before investing money in acquiring products to flip. It aids in attracting customers to your store more rapidly. Once you have a box of products to offer and sell, you must photograph them. To get started, you don't need a sophisticated camera, backdrop, or lighting. Don't let social media's highlight reel fool you into thinking you need immaculate photos. All you need is a smartphone, a clean light colored background, like a plain wall in your house would suffice, and perhaps an extra bulb if there isn't enough natural light. You should photograph every aspect of the object, as well as the logo, labels, and any flaws. You may brighten the photos with your phone's editor or an editing program, but make sure you don't change the color of the object. You may also sell on OfferUp, LetGo, Poshmark, Mercari, and other websites. To get started, simply download all of these materials for selling your things from your app store. This entire side venture may be done entirely from your smartphone. Now, when you're getting ready to post an item for sale, spend a few minutes doing some research. What is the purpose of the related goods listed? What have comparable products lately sold for? On eBay, you may sort by sold goods. Occasionally, the advertised price is more than what the thing would eventually sell for. Try to set competitive pricing for your goods, but don't undersell yourself. This is the thrilling part. The cha-ching of an eBay sale or the cash in hand from a Facebook Marketplace sale is exciting and perhaps somewhat addictive. When you start seeing money flow in, it motivates you to keep going. Now, remember, you must send the item if you sold it on eBay, Poshmark, or Mercari. If you're just getting started with shipping, we recommend utilizing eBay's shipping calculator. When you post your item, you may input the size and weight of your box, and eBay will charge the customer the appropriate cost. Number 4. Next, you can start a side job. A side job is any form of work or source of money that is not your primary source of income. A side job is not the same as part-time employment, and it frequently allows more freedom than a part-time career. It is an additional source of income that you bring in during your spare time that may help you save money, get out of debt, and attain other financial goals that your full-time employment alone cannot support. And funnily enough, this is sometimes referred to as a side hustle. Here are a few suggestions of simple side jobs you can start as soon as possible. Fast, accurate typists may frequently find transcription work online, either on platforms specifically dedicated to transcribing or by scouring employment sites for assignments. Transcriptionists are often compensated by word. People who type swiftly can do more work in less time and earn a higher salary. You can also make a website and a blog about a subject that you are both enthusiastic and informed about. To make money from your site, use advertisements and affiliate links. This is a wonderful alternative for persons who enjoy writing, spending time online, and sharing their interests, experience, and ideas with others. If you need money quickly, this may not be the greatest choice because it takes time to create your site before the money starts coming in. Offering web design as a service necessitates certain knowledge and prior experience. If you are skilled in graphic design and coding, market your web design services to firms that do not have a professional-looking website or consider approaching local businesses. As you work, keep a portfolio of finished professional work to present possible future clients. If you can think of a topic that you are passionate about and are well-versed in, you may start a YouTube channel dedicated to it. Create and share videos with the intention of educating people or debating an issue. Before YouTube allows you to monetize your account, your channel must accomplish specific milestones. Additionally, teaching languages online has grown in popularity as a method to supplement one's income. There are several websites where you may sign up to become an online instructor and teach English to individuals from different countries. When you commit to hosting regularly scheduled lessons, this employment may grow into a stable side income. Number 5. Have you ever heard of credit card churning? 
Credit card churning is the activity of opening new credit cards regularly in order to gain sign-up incentives and subsequently discontinue use of them. Again, credit card churning is the practice of applying for new credit cards on a regular basis, not necessarily to use or even maintain them, but rather to take advantage of attractive sign-up or welcome incentives in the form of cash, reward miles, or points. By obtaining many credit cards, you may quickly accumulate a considerable amount of miles, points, or cash back. As a result, while the method might be profitable for knowledgeable credit card users, it is dangerous for the typical customer. Credit card companies have implemented strategies to reduce churning in recent years. Many credit card issuers provide enticing sign-up bonuses on credit cards in order to induce users to apply for cards and spend a considerable amount of money on them shortly after account opening. Depending on the card, new card holders might earn incentives like cash back, airline miles, or points that can be redeemed for purchases provided they satisfy a certain spending threshold within a specified time frame. And this is typically within three months of opening the credit card. Identify two or more credit cards that provide appealing sign-up bonuses in the form of your chosen rewards and do not require you to use the card again or keep the account open for a particular length of time after you receive the bonus. Apply for credit cards either concurrently or sequentially, with just a brief period of time between applications, usually less than three months. Comply with the card's spending requirements to obtain the benefits, then stop using or canceling the cards before you incur yearly fees. Repeat the procedure to take advantage of additional sign-up incentives. Signing up for many credit cards allows you to earn considerably more cash back, miles, or points from sign-up incentives than you would with a single credit card. Credit card churning also allows you to earn benefits on a certain card faster than you would by using that card on a regular basis. Assume a cashback credit card gives 1.5% payback on all transactions and a $150 cashback incentive if you spend $500 in the first three months. Ordinarily, you'd have to spend $10,000 on ordinary items, which may take a year or more, to earn the same $150 you could earn in three months by spending only $500. In general, card issuers do not force you to use the card again after earning a sign-up bonus, nor do they compel you to keep the account open after receiving the incentive. That means that if you applied for a card with an appealing sign-up bonus, but poor returns for everyday spending, you're not locked in. You can easily go back to using other cards. Number 6. Next, monetize your skills. You can do this by learning a new skill. First, you must pick what talents you want to study. Don't overthink it, and use common sense in moderation. If you can't think of any, digital talents like graphic design, web design, app development, content production, and internet marketing are a fantastic place to start. Make a list of your hobbies as well, and see if there is any gold in there. Choose a free spot to begin once you've decided what skills you want to master. I would recommend to select a free learning choice to put your selection to the test. You must now devote a significant amount of time to honing your new skill. Practice your new talents until you've progressed from beginner to intermediate. When you've mastered your new expertise, try utilizing it to benefit others. If you simply practice a new talent in front of yourself in the comfort of your own house, you'll never properly test it to determine if it has money-making powers. The market determines if you have effectively acquired a new talent. Number 7. Finally, as I mentioned previously in this video, make money off YouTube. Regular YouTubers can gain access to unique features on the site through the YouTube Partner Program. You don't have to be a partner to make money on YouTube, Simply setting up an AdSense account and acquiring views would be enough, but becoming a partner makes things a lot simpler. YouTube partners have access to a variety of revenue sources, including not only video adverts, but also YouTube premium subscription fees and features that directly touch your dedicated fans' money, such as Super Chat, channel subscriptions, and The Good Shelf. To be eligible for the program, you must have at least 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours in the last 12 months. 
To earn ad money, you must be at least 18 years old and develop content that is appealing to advertisers. Basically, the less contentious your videos are, the more comfortable YouTube marketers will be placing adverts on them. You will receive a part of a YouTube Premium member's membership price if they watch your video. To offer channel memberships to your subscribers, an example your fans opt in to pay you an additional fee, you must be at least 18 years old and have more than 30,000 subscribers. According to YouTube, as a YouTube partner, your channel will be held to a higher standard. You must adhere to not just the YouTube partner program standards, but also the community guidelines, not to mention also abiding inside the bounds of copyright law. And there you have it, folks. Now that we've discussed the seven best side hustles that make you 100 plus dollars richer per day, let us know in the comment section down below which one you are willing to try out first. Remember to always do your research and make the most of your resources. If you found this video helpful, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this one. See you in the next video!